Well, good morning. It is Sunday, April 7th, 2024. And I am Arthur Morris. My late wife, Elaine, came up with Birds is Art, my business name, about 35 years ago. And every time I press the shutter button, I try to make it count. Today's video, remarkably, will show me picking my keepers from 5,851 images made at Stickmarsh, I believe, on April 2nd or 3rd. We'll see that in a moment. So Stickmarsh has been great this year. You can look at the EXIF data in the upper right corner. Here I'm working with the A93, amazing Sony A93, 120 frames per second with pre-capture. The Sony 300 millimeter f2.8 and a 2x teleconverter. So the 300 alone is really perfect. A little bit too long, but close to perfect for stick marsh. And it's been good this year. This one's made with the A93, the Sony 600, and the 2x. Beautiful. 3028 alone with the A93 and it's almost cheating. 120 frames per second will give you amazing poses one after another. So you're going to get four times as many poses, flight poses, as you would with the Sony A1. Problem is you're going to have four times as many images to edit and the purpose of this video will be to show you how I work a hundred times faster than I used to in Photo Mechanic. And the last picture is actually an A1 photograph made with the 600 and the teleconverter. And don't get me wrong, I wanted to hate the A93 because I loved the A1 so much for the last three years. But aside from the file sizes on the A93 being about half of the A1, everything else I love, including and especially the fact that bird face eye detection on the A93 is significantly better than with the A1. Anyway, 2nd of April, cloudy morning, so you can look here and see I'm doing blurs, and I took a glance at these, it looks like they're flying. Now I'm just warming up the camera, seeing if I can make a sharp picture at 1 80th of a second. Nothing too exciting here. Now I'm doing flight blurs at an 80th, looking for a sharp eye, relatively sharp eye, and some nice blur. Blurs are like winning the lottery. Uh, you take a zillion, and if you get one great one, you're happy. How do we know that we got a good one? I like to kid around and say, you'll know it when you see it. So nothing too exciting here. I'm still at an 80th of a second. And if I see something I might like, I can go back. But nothing fabulous. Now the birds are on the ground and they've got some playing with some vines. And an incoming bird, still at an 80th of a second. This one's sort of nice. So what I'm going to do is come to this box. I don't have to move the cursor, but just give it a T for tag. Those will be my keepers. And I like this one even better. And now we're off to the races again, not even in the middle. Now we're getting there a little. Still at an 80th of a second. Yeah. Still at an 80th of a second. Just seeing if I can make sharp ones. Command click. Very sharp at an 80th, but nothing to get excited. Here comes a young bird. Still at an 80th of a second. Ooh. I like how it almost looks like an x-ray. Give that one a T for tagged. 
Some of these are nice, but I've been there so many times and I have so many good blurs. They'd have to be really special. Now I've gone to a thousandth of a second in the very low light ISO 3200 and trying to make them sharp. And look at that little wing there, how the feathers fill in. So I like this one. You'll notice I don't even check for sharpness. I assume that everything is sharp. Let's see just for fun. Pretty darn good. Keep that one. Now they're getting really sharp. I'm still at a thousandth of a second, which is borderline. We generally want to be at a 2500th or 3200th for flight. And I'll keep this one. And I love that I got the bird right in the clear of the upper and lower vegetation. And still at a thousandth. Looking for the beautiful breaking position and the bird clear of the marsh. So this one I'm going to keep, this one I'm going to keep, this one I'm going to keep, this one I'm going to keep. And if you do this, well, I started to play, uh, play it like a movie. One with a stick. Uh, I'd almost keep this. I hate this, some black nylon webbing and too many birds in the frame. And here's another incoming bird. And I'm still only at a thousandth, but I'll keep this one. Ooh. Keeper, give it a T. Give it a T. And I'm going to go back because there's surely a few good ones in that series. I wanted to play it like a movie. So here we go again. I'm looking to see, I like that we see the coverts here with the beautiful reddish pink color. Come on, baby, break. Yeah. This one I like. And you see, you have to be very selective with the A93, because you have so many good poses. I'll sound a bit conceited here, but I'm sure there's a lot of photographers that would be very happy with the hundreds of ones that I'm deleting here. Wind that morning was from the south. Not my favorite wind, but with the clouds. Oh, there's a unique position with the head offset. Keep that one and that one. And too many birds in the frame. And one with a big vine. These guys. Oh, so now I want to see if we can get a decent look at his eye with a nice head angle. So if you look at the eye here, and you look at the eye here, I like the first one a bit better. So we'll give this one a T. Go back. Yeah, I think that's the best one of the lot. Another incoming, and I'm trying to watch out for the background signs. Let's blow it up just for fun. Here we miss focus on the rear, and this may be before I figured out the glitch with the 3028 that resulted in some unsharp images. Way better, give it a T. 
And a lot of photographers, when they have a series like this, they go, oh, that camera sucks. And I go, oh, that operator sucks, being me. Should have got that last series. I needed to get the bird a little farther back in the frame. I don't like the head angle of the front bird. If he was turned toward us a fraction more like that, I would have saved one of these. Keep this one. One of the biggest mistakes I make is putting the birds too low in the frame, cutting the virtual feet. Just being aware of that makes you a little better. Now he's got his bill open. We got the two of them. I'm still pissed that I didn't raise the camera a bit. Boy, that one jumps out as being very sweet and sharp enough. And we're still only at a thousandth, which is slow for flight. Keep. Notice how the head comes against the wing. So I like this one since there's room here between the edge of the between the edge, the top edge of the head and the far and the the leading edge of the far wing, the right wing. And even better. And more. Right down the pike. Give it a T. Now a young bird. Woo. Very sweet and sharp. And I'll certainly get rid of this and most of this and soften this up. Gave it a T. And again, there's so many good pictures here. I don't like the merge of the feet with the vegetation. Ooh, okay. So this might have been helped by pre-capture. I'm on the bird waiting for him to take off. I'm up to a 16 hundredth of a second. Pretty sharp, but you could see a tiny bit of motion blur. Keeper, 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 keeper. Clipped, 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 clipped. Clipped, 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 not clipped. Let me go back. Yeah, I might do something with a tight crop for this one. I love the tail. I like this one better than this one. And back to work. Two at a time at spoon at stick mosh. Now that one is absolutely spectacular, the pose. This one and this one be a lot of work to get rid of the second bird, but I just might do it. Using the new remove tool, which you can find in the Digital Basics 3 video series, if you go to the blog. Mm, keep that one. This guy was calling on the way in, or at least had his bill open. Keep that one. I like the head position here. And that one. And that one. I don't like the horizon line through the middle of the bird. This was a spectacular bird. Prettiest one. Their plumage colors intensify with diet. The better the diet, the brighter the colors. We'll keep that one. 
Now the first sun is breaking through. We're only a two thousandth of a second. And sun is difficult, one going away. Yeah, there's a time in the morning on sunny days when at stick marsh when the birds will be in shade one moment in sun the next those are very difficult and by the way for next march and april if you're amazed by this stuff give me a ring if you join me for a morning i only go when the wind and the forecast is looking good and I actually teach you. There are some famous people that bring folks there, and they don't teach anything. They just go, look at the pink birds. Wow. High right, low left. But as far as learning anything, you're on your own. And you see the uneven lighting on the underwings with the sun. And with the south wind, I'm way off sun angle. How do I know? Because there's the shadow of the bird's head. The sun is far from, it's way from the right. So we're going to just go flying through here. And I don't like all the uneven lighting. I don't like the head lined up with the side of the body here. And this guy's wrestling with a big stick. Still way off angled light, you see the shadow of the head. And a young bird. Keep that one, sort of cool. Photo bombed again. Black-bellied whistling ducks flying by. Now we lost our light again. Which is actually good when the wind is from the south. Oh, I didn't wind up keeping any from that series. Here comes another one. And this stuff in the marsh, the sign, that's easy to get rid of with the patch tool or the remove tool. I use patch tool for the large ones. Another one and another. Somebody's fishing bobber. And you saw a bunch of unsharp images there, not sharp on the eye. That's when I discovered the problem with the 3028 as it comes out of the box. So if you purchase one, there's another one not sharp. If you purchase one, you want to use one of my affiliate links, get in touch via email, and then you can get my lens guide for free. The fix is simple once you understand what's going on. Keep it. Potential. And remember, if I were doing this edit by myself, I'd be going a lot faster because I'm stopping to explain stuff to you boys and girls. Keep it. Keep it. Sharp enough, and that's a weird pose. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Definitely keep it. Definitely keep him. A crazy pose. It looks like he's drunk. Keep it. So I'll keep all of these and figure it out on the second edit. That was a nice one coming from high. And I like 
this one better than this one. Notice the far wing. We're seeing more of the far wing. Give it a T. Oh, really clean. Love the outstretched feet. Oh, why did I quit? I'm going to take a break for a sip of tea. Keep it. Again, looking for that head to drop below the wing. Keep it right down the lens barrel. Oh, might do some cleanup for this guy. Keep it. Keep it. So many nice ones. Right down the lens barrel. Little one with a little. Uh, I wish I pointed the lens down a bit. I would have kept one of those. So nobody knows if, I'll keep this one. Nobody knows if these two-year-old birds with the the brown primary fringes, if they're actually trying to nest on their own or they're assisting uh, their parents with nest building. What's that black thing there? Blemish on the feather, I guess. Whoops, that was the end of it. Then some flybys. And some underexposed takeoffs. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. And then fly it. So I'm looking for the flat wings. Kept one of those. Another flyby. We can go just zooming on. Rarely will I keep one of these. Cattle egret. Yeah, you know, it's not the A1. So I won't be doing any big crops on these flight shots. Whereas with A1, 51 million pixels, now I'm trying the tight. Light headshots. That looks like the same bird with some kind of crud on the right side of his bill. Hate the background. Love the dark blue water. Now I had to move. And again, you see my problems with cutting off the virtual feet when I got all this room above. Terrible. And here I was totally cutting everything off. And here I finally learned my lesson and pointed the camera up enough. So I'll give this a yellow two to tell that I might take some back some some stuff at the bottom of the frame to help me with the other frames. And I do like the uh, the water droplets. I like the picture too. Boy, oh boy, all this empty space and all this crowding. Maybe after 40 years I'll learn. A little more room here, but the bird's not drinking anymore. Side lit. And now I took a walk up by the bathrooms. 
and I was using the 600, the 3028 with the 2x. Amazingly sharp and beautiful. I like them up in the frame to get more of the red. So you'll see me hitting a T every once in a while. Keep trying for really good grade egret. These sort of almost make the cut. You can see his head is turned slightly to the right. Yep, I keep some of these with the full down stroke like this one, but the head is slightly turned to the right. And this guy is a fish crow. He was on a sign. Keep this one. I s slowed the shutter down so I got about well more than a stop of extra light. Then the eyes covered the nictitating membrane. So I'm keeping a bunch of these. Throat feathers fluffed up. Keep one. A portrait. Keep that one. Another portrait, keep that one. Flying away, flying at us. Way off sun angle, I don't even think about keeping it. And a mile underexposed. Maybe two miles. Because I was set for great egret. Who are constantly flying and looking away. Nice, this is the handheld 3028 with the 2X. And in flat flight, they don't excite me much because we get so many breaking shots. And a double header, I sort of like the juxtaposition. And this will work, easy to lose this stick with the new remove tool. And if there's the same picture twice, I'll generally keep keep multiples. I'll keep it, keep it. Leg raise, we'll keep that one with the foot showing. And another incoming bird. Flying angling away, that's the big problem. And now I'm standing above the airboat ramp with the south wind and clouds and waiting for a bird to take off into the south wind. And I get this one. Notice there's enough light from the right to spoil these. But as he keeps going, the situation may get better. So now we're getting a hint of light on this side of his face. So we'll start keeping some. Keep, 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 keep. Now we can see his eye. Keep. Clipped, clip, 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 not clipped, and he's got his bill open. Very fine and sharp. Now he's closing his nictitating membrane, and now he lost his vine. And those will be, one of those will be the best of the 5800. This guy's coming from the way right, and he's got the sticks through his nest all through the eye. 
And now I'm thinking about heading home. <clears throat> A high bird. Decent, unusual perspective. Got himself a stick. Lights a little from the right. There, it looks like he's got a necklace. Keep that one. Now he's readjusting. I love this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And this, we see his face a little better. Clouded over, so we're getting a few extra minutes. Nothing thrilling. Decent enough, decent enough. This is with the 1.4 teleconverter. Messing around, 300 is much better. <clears throat> dragonfly, he's chasing the dragonfly. Ugly ass bird. Don't ask me why I push the button. And this is one walking across the rebuilt airboat. Keep one. Sometimes they bathe or drink past this in clean water. Another one incoming over that fishing bobber. Still at 320. I'll keep this one. I don't know why. So if you buy a 3028, please email me for my links. If you buy an A93, please email me from, for one of my affiliate links, either B&H or Bedfits. I can help you save a few bucks, and you get a free guide. The guide, if you don't use my link, each guide is going to cost $206. Anyway, let's take a look at the whole thing. Now I go Show Untagged. Command A, Command Delete. Do I want to delete 5737? Yes, I do. And I don't hit OK until I look here and see that it says Untagged. Then I hit OK, and then Beginners will go What will they go? They will go, oh my god, I screwed up. I lost all my images. But of course, once you hit all, here come your keepers, which will be this number, 118 less 114. And that's the first edit. So lots of them will go. And where is that sucker? Yeah, one of these. I think this one, I like the wings better on that. Yeah, hard choice. May go with this or this as my favorites. Anyway, join me on an IPT. There's a bunch coming up this spring. One soon in the beginning of May at Fort DeSoto and then three more on Long Island this summer. And of course, Homer, just three spots left on the two trips. Email for questions, email for links. Love you much.